Zamato Elite. All right, a video response to all the weetards who made a video response to me. They don't like my video criticizing their last generation pile of garbage called the Wii. Um, so let's get into that right now. The existence of the so-called Wii Network. Now, honestly, I've never heard of the Wii Network um, up until I met you guys. I mean, that's how predominant your presence here is on YouTube. Uh, not predominant at all. Um, so, honestly, okay, you guys have a Wii Network. All right. I had a feeling there existed some sort of group that defended the Wii. I just didn't expect it to be as big as the Trey Brotherhood. And, of course, it's not. You guys just aren't as big and aren't as powerful as the Trey Brotherhood. That's a fact, not opinion. Moving on to the Wii is not a repackaged GameCube. I know! I wasn't being literal. I was trying to illustrate, illustrate, that the Wii is really just slightly better. Slightly better than last generation games. That's, the, that's a fact, not opinion, okay? Um... Nothing more to say. You guys have a slightly better console. But we take the Wii graphics and the Wii gameplay. It's more similar to last generation than it is to next generation of the PS3 and 360. That's a fact, not opinion. Moving on. The Wii remote actually works. One of you got on camera and said, Look, Zamato, it works. And you went up and down, left and right, up and down. You did it for like 10 minutes straight. I was about to fall asleep. Okay, you know what? You know what? Nothing beats... Uh, nothing beats, let me put it this way, let me reword it because I'm a retard. Nothing beats the classic joystick, triggers, and buttons. Nothing beats it. The motion control is a gimmick. It sucks, it's not nearly as good as the controller. Now, you may like the motion controller, but chances are you're not a hardcore gamer like me uh, who plays competitive first-person shooters. And the conduit doesn't count as a good first-person shooter, which I'm going to get to later in the game, in this movie. Um... I'm talking about Halo 3 and Killzone 2. Go play those games with motion controller. You'll get your fucking ass ripped. Alright? You will get ripped. Alright? I'm playing on the controller because it's better. And it works. And it's reliable. The motion controller is not reliable. It doesn't work well. And it's a gimmick. The next one is there are good games besides the shovelware. I'm sure there are. I mean, I have a, I have a couple listed down here. I'm just saying that when people get the Wii... Uh, they play the games, and then they get bored of the console because it doesn't have any sort of longevity. And then they just throw it in the trash like mine is. I mean, I played Super Mario Galaxy. There's only so much you can play of Super Mario Galaxy, a game that doesn't even have a multiplayer. Uh, I can play so much of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, a game that has the absolute worst, most laggy online multiplayer imaginable, with no voice capabilities, which is just absolute fucking joke. And there's no customizable modes in the online brawl. Because the online on the Wii is actually a joke. If you didn't know that already, it's a joke. So I gave you brawl anyways. In fact, the games with the plus by them, that's the games I approve of. Now, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Oh, wait, that's a GameCube port. Moving on, proving that this is a last generation console. Yeah, it was on the GameCube. <laughs> So, uh, you kinda, if you're trying to tell me this is not a last generation console, then why are your games ported from the GameCube? Yeah, that's right, bitch. Uh, moving on, no more heroes. Um, let's throw that in the Metacritic real quick, because this is called a bullshit filter time, where we throw things to Metacritic and see how they are. No more heroes on the Wii. 83! You're trying to tell me your killer app games have an 80 rating? Okay, I can give you a long list of games on the 360 and PS3 that are in the 90s. Okay, if your game isn't even the 90s on Metacritic, then I'm not going to take it seriously. That's a fact, not opinion. Moving on. I thought you guys were kidding with uh, Manhunt 2. I mean, honestly, this is where you guys really shot yourselves in the foot. Manhunt 2. Manhunt 2 was on the PlayStation 2. Last generation. It was on the Sony PSP. So, Manhunt 2 was on the PS2. And you're trying to tell me this is next generation. It has a 62 rating on Metacritic. That fucking blows. That fucking blows. Okay? So, please. Go get some good games and recommend them to me. Not PS2 games. 
that have low 62 ratings on Metacritic. Mad World, once again, in the, in the low 80s. If it was in the high 80s, I'd maybe give you some leeway. But you have low 80 rated games on Metacritic. That fucking blows. Your games suck. Your standards are so low. Moving on to Super Mario Galaxy. This is a 97 on Metacritic, which is good. That's a good rating. This is a great game. I'm not going to lie. You guys have a great game. Super Mario Galaxy, Super Smash Brothers, and Metroid Prime 3. Those are your three only good games. Yay! Go buy a Wii so you can play three games. Woohoo! Not a waste of money. Moving on, Call of Duty 5 World at War. This is also on the 360 and PS3. And honestly, I think this game sucks on all the consoles. I actually think COD 4, a game that the Wii doesn't have because the Wii can't handle that type of gameplay and graphics, um, is the, one of the best shooters to come out in a long time. I mean, it's up there with Halo 3 and Killzone 2, COD 4. Uh, you guys don't have that game, you know. And uh, World at War isn't even on here. Actually, it probably is. Let me... Um, just to put a Call of Duty 5 World at, I mean Call of Duty World at War. And let's take a look on the Metacritic. It has a 85 rating, which is not that great. Again, you guys have very low standards. This is not really that great of a shooter. I don't even like it on the 360 to be honest with you. I think it's a piece of crap. It has a 84 on the 360 and an 83 on the Wii. It has the lowest rating on the Wii. Once again, you shoot yourself in the foot, because we're comparing the Wii to the next generation consoles. Now, World of War is not a good game, so, um, again, I'm not giving you a plus for that. The plus by the games mean they're actually good games. Uh, Super Monkey Ball. Um, I actually kind of like this game personally, but I know it doesn't have a good rating on Metacritic. I, I highly doubt it. It's probably in the 70s or 80s. Oh! <laughs> or 50s. I'm sorry. It's in the 50s! You guys really suck and it was on the GameCube and the PS2 so honestly you guys are gonna have to get better games than that in fact let's see if we can find the actual Wii one it has a 74 oh my god you guys have the lowest standards the lowest standard if you wanna play some real games I will get you a PS3 and you can play some real quality next generation content that you cannot play on the Wii. Metroid Prime Legacy. Why do I want to play last generation games again? I mean, I've already played Manhunt 2 and Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, two last generation games. Why would I want to play more last generation games? This is the fact about Nintendo. All they can do is just repackage their old, used up games. They cannot make any quality new content besides these three solid titles. You guys have nothing else. Your third party blows. You're just going to play Mario games over and over and over and over again. Well, on the 360, I can play Halo. Three, on PS3, I can play God of War, Killzone 2. I can play the Gran Turismo series because you guys don't have any good racing. You have Mario Kart. <laughs> Uh, go play Gran Turismo, please, and then come back and tell me Mario Kart on the 360. Go play, um, what is that, what is it called? Forza Motorsport, and then come back and tell me Mario Kart's a solid title. You'll get laughed at, guaranteed. That's a fact, not opinion. And then it gets really funny. You guys are, you guys all have your conduit shirts on. <laughs> the conduit! The conduit! Okay, let's throw it in the Metacritic and laugh at the low standards of the typical weetard. It's taking so long to load because... Because your console sucks. And Metacritic doesn't even want to rate your console games. A 69 for the conduit. A 69! This is your killer rap shooter. Okay? Halo 3 has a 95. Killzone 2 has a 91. And your killer rap shooter has a 69? You guys are a fucking joke. Just get the fuck lost. Go buy a next-gen console and accept the fact that you have been ripped off by Nintendo. I'm Zamato Elite. I win. You lose.